most holy trinity father son and the holy spirit enlightened and guided by your example we are here today at your divine presence we praise you for your very presence among us in the form of this blessed sacrament thank you for your love which is lavishly showered upon us each and every day of our lives all that we have and all that we are is your gift of love to us our every heartbeat is your love and it is in your love we are called to be a servant as we reflect on the theme called to be a servant the best servant example and model is mother mary the handmaid of the lord who became servant of the lord and human kind mary who was called to be a servant closely united with the lord closely followed his steps that was our occasion and that was all she aspired for and the rest was god's work the daughter of adam has been made the mother of jesus and mother of all living though jesus who was son of god became servant of all therefore god raised him to the heights and gave him a name above all other names so that at the name of jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth the mighty one also has done great things for mary for her purity humility and availability and exalted her above all other women so we in turn follow after the example of mother mary to serve the lord with total dedication and tirelessly spend ourselves for the salvation of the world lord fill our hearts with love gratitude and generosity make us faithful and zealous servants for you may we generously pour out our life in loving service for you and for others just as you have so generously poured out yourself for us kindly join your voices with this bhajan ಬರಿದಾದ 
Let us listen to the scripture reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Chapter 23, verses 1 to 12.
Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat. Therefore, do whatever they teach you and follow it. But do not do as they do, for they do not practice what they teach. They tie up heavy burdens, hard to bear, and lay them on the shoulders of others, but they themselves are unwilling to lift a finger to move them. They do all their deeds to be seen by others, for they make their phylacteries bold and their fringes long. They love to have a place of honor at the banquets and the best seats in the synagogues and to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and to have people call them Rabbi. But you are not to be called Rabbi, for you have one teacher and you are all students. And call no one your father on earth, for you have one father, the one in heaven. Nor are you to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. The greatest among you will be your servant. All who exalt themselves will be humbled, and all who humble themselves will be exalted. Let us pause for a while and reflect on the reading just read. In life, all of us want to be the best, to be the number one. We were told and oriented to be always on top of everything. We aspire for the best position, the best place, for we thought that when we have the best, that is our final fulfillment. Is it incorrect to dream big? and aspire to be famous? Is it wrong to aim for the best? Not at all. But in the guise of working out one's best would be wrong if it is based on self-centered intention and motivation. In the Gospel, Jesus explains who is the real master and servant. Jesus' concept of greatness is of service. To serve others and not oneself to be the last so that others may be served first. Our love of God is inseparable with our love of neighbor. To serve humanity and the entire creation is not only great but the greatest. To be the first is to be the last of all and servant of all. In this way, one achieves greatness. To live as a servant of all is certainly hard and is a treading through paths of difficulties. But in difficulties, grace abounds. In hardships, blessings increase. In adversities, mercy flourishes. May we seek knowledge in order to serve by growing in the virtues of faithfulness, integrity, and honesty. And thus, the true servant of God 
and followers of Jesus are only master
let us reflect for a while with these following questions what is my personal and primary goal that i want to attain and achieve in life aiming for the best in life and becoming great do i please god with all my accomplishments achievements and honors i received have i lovingly served my family community and god in what ways do i serve my brothers and sisters Kindly join your voices with this button.
let us pray the litany of our lady Lord have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven have mercy on us. God the Son redeemer of the world have mercy on us. God the Holy Ghost have mercy on us. Holy Trinity one God have mercy on us. Holy Mary pray for us holy mother of god pray for us holy virgin of virgins pray for us mother of christ pray for us mother of divine grace pray for us mother most pure pray for us mother most chaste pray for us mother inviolate pray for us mother undefiled pray for us mother most amiable pray for us mother most admirable pray for us mother of good counsel pray for us mother of our creator pray for us mother of our savior pray for us virgin most prudent pray for us virgin most venerable pray for us Virgin most renowned pray for us Virgin most powerful pray for us Virgin most merciful pray for us Virgin most faithful pray for us Mirror of justice pray for us seat of wisdom pray for us cause of our joy pray for us spiritual vessel pray for us vessel of honor pray for us singular vessel of devotion pray for us mystical rose pray for us tower of david pray for us tower of ivory pray for us house of gold pray for us ark of the covenant pray for us gate of heaven pray for us morning star pray for us health of the sick pray for us refuge of sinners pray for us comforter of the afflicted pray for us help of christians pray for us queen of angels pray for us queen of patriarchs pray for us queen of prophets pray for us queen of apostles pray for us queen of martyrs pray for us queen of confessors pray for us queen of virgins pray for us queen of all saints pray for us queen conceived without original sin pray for us Queen assumed into heaven pray for us Queen of the most holy rosary pray for us Queen of peace pray for us Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world spare us O Lord Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world graciously hear us O Lord Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us pray for us O holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ grant we beseech thee O lord god that we thy servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of the blessed mary ever virgin be delivered from present sorrow 
and enjoy eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayers of the Faithful When the Holy Spirit descended upon the disciples at Pentecost, their faith was strengthened and they went out to live in the way Jesus asked them to. We now pray to Jesus for his same strength to be his missionaries. For the following prayers, your response shall be, O Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Pope Francis and the leaders of the church that they will always be guided by God's love through the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord, O oh Lord, hear our prayer. That all the children of the world will be filled with your love and happiness. We pray to the Lord, O oh Lord, hear our prayer. that we may work for justice and speak out in support of someone who is having difficulty, those who may be homeless, being bullied, sick or lonely. We pray to the Lord. O Lord, hear our prayer. That we will share the love of God with our brothers and sisters around the world and do acts of love and kindness for one another. We pray to the Lord. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died. May they be at peace in God's loving arms in heaven. We pray to the Lord. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our personal needs. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we want to know you and follow you, love you and serve you. Help us always to be humble of hearts and do just to our brothers and sisters. May we praise and please you through our small and big works as we do these in your name. It does not matter if you are least or great, 
but we humbly serve in love as we have loved. This we ask through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. sacrament you left us a memorial of your passion death and resurrection grant we beseech you that we may venerate your body and blood as to experience continually within ourselves the fruit of your redemption you will live and reign forever and ever
Sing. 